It is winter in Germany, and the sun rises late. Men and women are already at work. But in these buildings, set aside from the Volkswagen factory, they do not build the cars that are sold today, or this year, or perhaps ever. The days of their calendar are the tomorrows. Their task is to find out how to do better. Theirs is the factory of the future. successful only if the people that make it continue to check to make sure their standards are being maintained or improved in the thousands or even the 15 million unit manufacturer. Research is an endless cycle and it often begins by doing better what you are already doing, making it stronger and safer. No brake will ever get this hot in a car, but we need to know how it will act and what will happen just the same. If there should be an accident, we will want to know that the roof will not cave in. Once you leave the superhighways, there are roads like this in many places in the world, but not quite as rough or quite as long as these. And even the superhighways do get wet and covered with snow and ice and slush. On a test pad, this may look like a lot of fun, but it tells us how we can build a car to negotiate in any kind of weather. And that's very important when you need to do it in traffic.
And among the vehicles that run here today, up and down hills and on long stretches of multi-lane highways, there may be some that will never come to the marketplace, but all the experience that we gain by building them and running them will influence our products, perhaps already next year. Not in looks necessarily, but in performance and in the number of extra miles they will safely run for their owners without seeing the inside of a repair shop. Even the hills on this proving ground had to be put into this landscape to duplicate every kind of grade and road profile a car might meet in the outside world. of design and workmanship. Here, the stress placed on a section of drive shaft is made visible by a polarization process. A mass spectrometer helps discover the inherent qualities of a metal by heating tiny amounts of it to its gaseous state, allowing the spectrum of colors to be analyzed for content. thing to come by is a good copy of man himself. These dummies are as near as man has been able to approach a mechanical recreation of himself. They're made in America, and some cost more than raising a child to grown man, including college education. But they can do a job that no living man or woman could or would do. Experiments in actual experience have made it increasingly clear that in an accident, the occupants must be held in place inside the car allowing the vehicle and not its occupants to absorb the energy. Belts that on impact instantly put themselves around the passenger to keep him inside the protected cabin. Airbags in a variety of design and applications.